Many gardeners are reluctant to grow squash because of the dreaded squash vine borer. Squash has been genetically modified now to enable commercial growers to avoid problems with vine borers, but you want to grow your squash organically like I do, I'm sure. The squash vine borer moth is black and orange with clear wings and it looks very similar to a wasp. Unlike most moths though, this one is active in the daytime. It flies just around above the crown of the squash plants and it's actually actually kind of easy to catch. It lays its eggs near the base of squash plants and then the egg hatches and the larval worm drills into the squash stem and it feeds from the inside of the plant so sprays don't really affect the worm inside the plant. Your squash plants will start to wilt in a day or two and if you cut open the stem you may find one or more of these fat white worms inside the stem. You want to destroy those if you do find them. I've tried using yellow cups with soapy water as borer trap since the moths are supposed to be attracted to that color but had no success. But I found these wonderful traps that were a resounding success last year in my garden. The top contains this pheromone lure that attracts the moss. The lure goes inside this little chamber and then you put that in the top of the trap and I keep a label on top because the lures need to be changed once a month. The moth is going to fly into the trap attracted by this yellow color and then it disappears into the base which has a uh, pest strip like this one. I've used soapy water in mine and that worked just fine. I did clean the trap several times a week but I was catching 15 and 20 squash vine borer moths a week in each of my traps. You want to hang the traps around the, the top of the canopy of the squash plants, but not too close to the squash bed. I use shepherd hooks to hang them in the garden beds. You can get the traps ordered and in place before you plant squash to help you monitor populations and control the numbers of pests before you get squash in. Once you start seeing moss in the traps, you can spray your plants with garlic sprays to repel the moss. And I would still use the tight micro mesh fabric to keep the moths away from your plants until insect pollinators need to do their work. You'll check for female blooms on the squash. The first blooms will be all male blooms, so you can eat those. The traps, I didn't get mine until kind of late in the season last year, so I did still see some squash vine borers, but I'm hoping that I will cut the population down and have fewer and fewer the more I use these traps. Now, you can just search for squash vine borer traps uh, online. There are several companies that sell them, and you'll want to order enough lures and uh, pest strips uh, to get you through the season. If you do want to grow squash that tends to have fewer issues with vine borers, things like butternut and other squashes that have solid stems uh, will have fewer problems. But pumpkins and even my cucumbers last year were really affected by squash vine borers. If we all set out traps, perhaps we can reduce this pest population and enjoy trouble-free squash again. For Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.